Light me, Lord. Light me. It is time to take your journey. Light me, Lord. Give the Holy Ghost two hours in the Light night, me, at least. Tell him why I'm coming here is because I want to know you. Our generation lacks encounter. We have not seen the God of the burning bush. One of the signs that the man has acquired burdens is that there is a change of perspective. You see with the eyes of heaven. You hear with the ears. One of the deceptive things that people do that robs them from effective living is that they major on minor things and they minor on major things. We come submitting ourselves before, before the altar. We come, we come as a sacrifice. We come as a sacrifice. We come as a sacrifice. We say we give ourselves away. Man, no Oh, me with all the nothing, with all the nothing, we give, we give ourselves away. I give myself away, Holy Ghost. We come again tonight, Holy Ghost. We are, you have beckoned on us to come, so we come. Oh, you are the reason why we have gathered again tonight. You are the reason why we have gathered again tonight oh we come beyond first we all come become beyond human we come beyond our will we come we come to the place of meeting with you we come to the place where it's all about you we come to the place where the rod is not spear. The altar of supplication, the altar of sanctification. We come, we come, we come, we come. We come to the place where men and women are made fit. We have been men and women of saying accurate shepherds, accurate formation. We come to the place of transformation. We come to the place of cutting and pruning. Holy Ghost, we come. I beg of the Supernatural, and let the beg of the Gabaya. I shut up our Mexican dekwas. I echo the Yagos. I shut up the Labos. Holy Ghost, and let the beg of the Kelaje. If we keep our Baraba Supernatural, I we ask that you would do us, O oh God. We ask that you would do us, O oh God. We ask that you would do us, O oh God. Let our desire meet with your desire. Show us your mercy, O God. Show us your mercy, O God. Let our prayer pass through the corridor of mercy to come before thee. Let our prayer pass through the channel of mercy and ascend before thee this morning. Let the signature of your mercy bear upon our prayer again tonight. Let it be signed upon our prayer tonight. Let it be written upon our prayer tonight. Let it be written upon our prayer tonight. Holy Ghost, we ask for answers tonight. We ask that you will cause our prayer to ascend before God. We decree that there is safe passage for our prayer tonight. There is safe passage for our prayer tonight. There is safe passage for our prayer tonight. Let us pray. 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 Let us p
Vecoporote, a Shakapate, a Swapariato, a Shenta de Vecopete, a Swapapindoskai, a Equaki Pote, a Ratabaka Parate, a Swakataya, a Sotokotoki, Rata de Gua, Mantoscopente, a Rataba Uberate, a Katanakatekade, a Ratabakatake, or was Supekai, a Beruskape, a Shakatalakate, a Betekelika Parata. We decree safe passage for our prayer tonight in the name of Jesus. When Jesus mighty name we have prayed, prayed, and we are still praying. You know, yesterday we 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 um, made it known to us that we are in already in a season for readiness, readiness where we need to be ready for an encounter. We have been praying since January for the Lord to prepare us, but the Lord is saying the next phase we are entering to now is season of encounter, is phase of encounter. Therefore, we must be made ready. We must be made ready. And yesterday we started on a, 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 another set of prayer, another set of prayer for us to be made ready for the encounter. And today we're going to be progressing on that. Uh, we have seen majorly that uh, from the pages of scripture that when the time of encounter is set, uh, another thing after the first thing we prayed about yeah. Yesterday is a pure heart that sees God. It's a pure heart that can pick God. A pure heart that can fully participate in the things of God. A pure heart that can journey with God. A pure heart that can receive the burden of the Lord and embed it accurately. We know say Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. So as we progress in that again this morning. This morning, uh, we want to pick another point, which is the, the word distraction. We see that when the time of encounter is set, one of the major things that the enemy brings brings is distraction. It brings all sorts of distractions, all forms of distractions. It brings all kind of things, all kind of things up so that it might be able to make us disqualify, to turn our heart away from that which is divine into things if ephemeral. It brings all kind of um attractiveness all kind of things to tempt the believer so that you can just turn yourself away from that which god has a portion for you you can just look away from that which is divine but this morning i want us to pray like one who understands that we cannot be ignorant of the enemy's devices let it take advantage of us we need to pray as one that understands that there's a weapon that's already been formed against us in darkness and that weapon we not stand that weapon will not perform its devices so we want to pray this morning looking unto jesus the author and the finisher of our faith that thou which god has already predestined us from that which the lord has already advertised to us that which god has already promised us now we want to turn our gaze away from every form of distraction and say jesus we fix our gaze on you and nothing will be able to turn our eyes away from you nothing will be able to touch our gaze away from you so we pray in the name of jesus we give ourselves to you oh god we consciously say no to all forms of distractions that the enemy might bring i will still bring it to more understanding of what the word is Distraction is out, but I want you to be intentionally present prayer based on my further on uh, my previous on, um, explanation. So we pray this morning in the name of Jesus uh, that we will not be given to distraction. No matter how, how attractive the enemy present it, uh, that we will not fall for it in the name of Jesus. We will not be 
successfully distracted by the enemy. Our gaze is fixed on Jesus. The author and the finisher of our faith. And if you are already already distracted, I just want you to intentionally pray this prayer. La shakata la badosha, deliver my soul from distraction. In canos ke finde ke lekia supaya, afeko perekia supedia. In the name of Jesus, I will not be distracted. Leketa lebe no savelete. I turn away every form of distraction, and I fix my gaze on Jesus, the author and the finisher of my Fate, I Nima Sufeka Baria Swa. No matter what the enemy presents to me to distract me, I refuse to fall to the destruction of the enemy. A Shakata Labe Kobeti, a Sokopedi Kalata. My gaze is fixed on Jesus. A Romo Kobena Supeti, Rasoko Porotis, a Shakata Laba Supenene, Rekete Berekete Pusa, a Shakata Laba. Sister, pray like one who are on who have understanding. Oh, pray like one with understanding. I will not fall to the trap of the enemy. You cannot be praying every day from January 1 and you will still be distracted when it's time for you to meet God. Oh no. I say no to distractions. No weapon function against me shall prosper. Every tongue that rises up against me is brought to judgment. For this is the heritage of the servant of the Lord. Arise, O God, and let your enemies be scattered. generations and they survived it so don't say because this age is somehow okay that's why this that's why your temptation is i know you don't have an excuse i'm saying you can still stand in the midst of all of these temptations all of these things you can stand what happened to peter when the enemy came and was trying to shift him jesus said what i have prayed for thee so the, when the end when the scripture says uh, no weapon from the against you shall prosper it does not mean that the enemy will not fashion the weapon against you but it will not prosper it means that it will not prevail because jesus has gone ahead of you fought your battle and he has so we will we are not afraid of what the enemy will try we are not afraid that the enemy will pull a trigger or we are most assured that jesus will save us that is why we are presenting ourselves and fixing our gaze on jesus the only one who is the author and the finisher it means that if they have started it he can finish it because he has already even finished it already so we want to pray Fixing our gaze on Jesus. Amasuke dika parube ketia. Lasu pe dika parume skedebe. Aya oporume skobe naswa pe doa shata. Epe te te pe water. Asha katalaba 
it. Jesus, I have not come like a champion before you. I come as a servant. You, I wanted to see the time of Mary and Martha. What happened to them? One was able to discern and stayed with Jesus. She stayed. She stayed, but one was encumbered with all sorts of things. That is the kind of thing that we are saying. When I talk about the stretching, it doesn't necessarily mean sin at times. It doesn't mean temptation at times. All things are expedient. We cannot entangle us with civilians affair you are a warrior you are a warrior woman all things are lawful but not all things are expedient I mean Oh God, keep my eyes fixed on you. Keep my eyes on you, Jesus. I know the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. But if you will say, we will look up to Jesus again. What happened to Peter while he was walking on water? When he began to look at the storm, what happened? He began to sink. But he looked up again and called upon the name of the Lord. He said, Jesus, and he was saved. So what we need to do, it doesn't matter what storm you is around you it doesn't matter what storm is what you are walking upon it doesn't matter what storm the enemy has true across you even while growing up it doesn't matter what pattern the enemy might have been replicating with your life but will you rise and say jesus the uncle and the finisher of my faith arise and save me we know that only you is able to save it to even on to the end. Oh, we call upon you, Maka Subenea, Shekatekeleka, Efekata Kwashata, Epekopele Kukaya, Ashaka Baba, Arasuke Peti, Ashaka Tabalate, Epeka Lepetua, Abento Kopea, Ashaka Pati, Lata de Kupeti. I fix my gaze on you, Jesus. I do not care what the seed of doubt the enemy has sowed into your heart. All forms of discouragement. It makes you feel like you are alone. It makes you feel like you don't work it. It makes you feel like you cannot attain the promise. I have come to tell you that those things are distractions. I refuse distractions. 
I say no. I say no to every weapon devices, agent manipulations of the enemy. I say you will not stand, you will not prosper, you will not prevail. I say no to the light. For the enemy have come to kill, to steal, and to destroy. But Jesus have come that you may have life and life in abundance. Every lies that the enemy is telling you to steal from you, oh, to kill you and to destroy you. I back up like a super tear. Every lie that the enemy is telling you, every suggestive thought of the enemy, we say no. Every forms of distractions, every forms of the dist- every form of distraction, every forms of tricks that the enemy might be pulling around me. All right. Yeah. Me, we will say no. I shake a perekita, I kick a kikaya, I swake a quatema, Rasoko to Kopenai, a rapa to a sa, sister pray, a kekopenaya, a shaka to the buyer, a rope of Kopenata. There are prayers that no one will pray for you. You will have to pray by yourself. You are a priest, you must purge yourself. I reckon the calabate. You are a priest, you must offer sacrifice by yourself for yourself. All right, the Kotaya. You must consciously bring yourself to the over. I choose. 
I choose that is what that which is needful per time. In the name of Jesus, I choose that which is needful per time in the name of Jesus. Because that was the description that Jesus gave when Mary stood with Jesus and Martha was above many things. He said, this one, this one has chosen that which is needful. He said, one thing is needful and Mary has chosen it. Oh God, I will choose that which is needful. I will not miss out on my encounter. Oh, Kalemenos Kapedika Barume Supedia. Ah, Suke Kedia. Ah, Ropeketika Pai. Ah, Sopetika. Ah, Sokoporiatua. I choose that which is needful. I choose that which is needful. Ekumedika Tay. Epedika Kay. Epekumbeleke. Ekekeleke. Ekekeke. Ekeleke Bende. Ereketeketi. I choose that which is needful. I will not miss your coming. I will not miss your giving. I will not miss your promise. You have called me and I have heard. I will not be distracted. I will stay. I will stay. I will stay. enough a reason to turn away from you let nothing be potent enough a tool to turn my gaze away from you let nothing be potent enough a a, a device to shift my gaze away from you let nothing be strong enough a temptation to shift my desire away from you elika manakumelekwa shinaya eswa kepokia efikekekalate ebinaka minatwa i yield my totality to you i yield in fullness to you i yield i yield ekekurekibidia zokalakia kwai ashaka parumbe esuke bila kwaika arata bakuna swai reketekelika pai afroko bi zakata Oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you for the help that. Oh, thank you, Father. We exalt you, Lord Jesus. We glorify your holy name. We'll be exalted, Lord, in Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. Thank you, sisters. Thank you for giving yourself to God. Thank you for staying true once again tonight. Please endeavor to invite a sister. Please endeavor. Love your sister enough to invite them to be part of this. Love them enough not to allow them miss out of what God is said to do this season. This is not a bad name. Have a restful night in Jesus' mighty name.